So here we are. We're in the middle of nowhere, in the mangroves. There's no marina, shop, street, civilization, anything in sight. And soon this water will be gone because it's about a meter deep and we're literally going to be sitting on land so that's something to look forward to i guess it's all part of the adventure oh. mark, mark knows what he said oh. <laughs> Well, you we can't complain about the view. It's a nice spot. Luke's fishing off the back here, must have been inside. Yep, they definitely tried. What can you do? What can you do if you're a drunken sailor? Hang on, here's some civilization here. That's the first boat we've seen for about 30 minutes. Okay, so what we need is this barge to come and take us out of the mangroves. He'd be able to pull us out, no problem. They must need the trash bag. We're going to get a bit of weight from this. You can see it travelling here now. Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be good if it was free, eh? We needed him to go past before. Yeah. Not that water taxi doing little oh, circles. Over there where he is. Oh, yeah. that was ridiculous. That was absurd. I think he was just joking at Moke Wheeler. I think he might have been making a mockery of yeah, us. Yeah, I, I absolutely was. Do you want me to make some wake? All right. They did one little U-turn and yeah, drove she, off. And she was waving when, when they were waving off. Yeah, <laughs> right, here comes that wake. You can see the wave right here. Yeah, it's almost here. It's almost here. Here it comes. It's here now. Oh, we're not going to rock around because we're grounded. Very big. And plus, we're well grounded now. You know why? Because the water's gone down. Oh yeah. See there's um. See these plants over here sticking out in the water. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them there. They were just the very tips, yeah. like. Yeah, they're a foot down. So. Yeah. Like they were only just one inch. Yeah. So. Like they're a foot now. So that's uh, yeah. Yes. They're definitely not going to be. Uh, yeah, we're well grounded. So, Chris, Captain Fick, is a professional, a professional marooning expert. He's given us the best view ever. Well, that's a bit dark on the screen. I don't know how it's going to turn out on the computer. Turn what on? The anchor light. Ah, it was already on. It's not on there. It should be on. In the mangroves, as a matter of fact, this is only about a foot deep now. Those little things there weren't even showing when we got here. That's Chris. Hey, Chris! Thanks for stranding us. <laughs> Thanks for navigating. Thanks for navigating. You reckon this my fault? I was the navigator, though. I was trying to watch the maps. Anyway. It is what it is. It's a beautiful place to get marooned. Yeah, we'll 
Lord house. Yeah, couldn't see the Lord house. Even though we're marooned in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the mangroves. I can still have a shower. <laughs> yeah. So it's not all bad. It's not all bad. You can still have a shower in the middle of the mangroves. Look at that view, Mum. And do the washing. And do the washing. Top. It's got spaghetti sauce on it, look. Spaghetti sauce on my top. Yeah. Ruined. You can get that off. Oh. All you have to do is put it like an eye drop of bleach on that spot. Because it's a white shirt, it'll come off. Okay, so it's quarter past six now. And this is where we ran aground. The tide's going out. You can see a little dinghy there. Still in the water. <laughs> And around the back, still in the water. So basically, it's still very shallow, you can see there. But over the other side here, it's deeper. Actually, the camera picks up. See, look down there. Mm. You can see like a back patch. You can't see that with your eyes. Mm, you've got more light. The camera's picking it up. So. There we are. So we ran the ground at the front of the boat. But we, we were trying to drive over there and the wind just pushed us over here. Like steering didn't even help. We just got pushed over like a sail straight over here. So what can you do? It's a good spot though, nice view. See if you push out further on that side. Yeah. Push it. Oh, that's solid. That's solid. Buttery. Maybe the boat's right in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See if you push off now. Because I. I <laughs> I had visions. <laughs> I had visions of sailing up the river, watching all the trees go past. How did I end up stuck in the mangroves in the middle of the night, watching you two blokes? You've grounded the dinghy as well. How does this work? How do I end up in these situations? <laughs> you know, somewhere, someone's sailing up the river, sipping a Chardonnay. <laughs> this is what I've got to deal with. What are you doing? Yeah, that's a good question. What are they doing? I've got to go down and see what's the plan. They're trying to get it. They're too far away. Mum comes stuck her head over the edge. She saw you. <laughs> Luke's hanging off the boat. He says, what are they doing? I said, it's a good question. Hang on. Now, you can't see on the camera, but actually, they're trying to get a crab net that they've found. Oh, he's got a crab net in the water, but it's not... Yeah. So that's become our entertainment for the night, because Chris grounded us in the mangroves. He's grounded the dinghy as well, but... Nah. It's too deep in the mud. Yeah. Come on, you're 
Yeah, someone's lost that and it's got a stack on the road and they've probably broke their line trying to pull it up. So this is how we spend our night. I don't think there'd be any crabs here. <laughs> now Lisa's in on the mix. <laughs> Why my family? <laughs> Do it. Yeah, you can grab it by your hand. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Give me the you oil. I'll push you out. Give me the oil. There you go. One more push, Chris. One more. You're doing this. <laughs> You're starting to crown. Oh. <laughs> Get up there, quick. Don't run. This is gonna fall over, I guarantee it. It's gonna fall in. 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 It's so Chris has given up on his expedition. Don't fall in water. Did he go? You're right. I thought he was going to come and run into the back of me there for a minute. So that's our entertainment for the night. So, we've been here maroon for eight hours and Luke's got the catch of the day. Let's see what he's got. Right, here we are. Oh, well done, Luke. And I have a plan for that, right? And we're going to feed everyone for under 10 bucks. <laughs> under 10 bucks? Yeah. Where are the rest of the crabs? They're coming. Oh, they're coming. All right, so we got one. We just need another 10. I'm going to leave that crab in there because that'll attract the other ones. No, it should get a bit more bait. Poor bug, he's looking a bit cruel. Poor little girl, pull him out there. Hang on, wait, wait. Wait. Poor. He's shattered. Poor bloke. He's got caught up in the eyes. Can't get away. Poor little fella. Hey, baby. You can see he's got one eye sticking out. He's got two eyes. One of the eyes like half bent up from the <laughs> string. Well, there's one crab. All right, Actually, it's going to come out. Yeah, only one, but the other one we tried to get, and it won't come up. What did you put in there? Oh, yeah, that piece of fish. There's a piece of fish there in the middle. Fish head. Made the crab some fish head soup. He's going to bite you. He's going to bite you. Yeah, for sure. That's why I'm recording. It's going to be funny. Ah! He's going to bite my toes. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah, he's running. He's back to the water. He's lost him. I caught one of them with pointies on a fishing rod not long ago. And as soon as it hit the concrete, it's he's there on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Hey, get him. He's running into the water. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Well, we're going to starve for tonight. That was our only hope. Thanks, Luke. No worries. Stay tuned for our next fishing adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Dodgy fishing expedition. And co. Oh, yep. well, we caught one crab and then Luke let it go. <laughs> you had to catch fuck all in one night. But <laughs> 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 well, Chris has a yes, fish. Fine. Swallowed the whole thing like the last brim. What do you think? Still bleeding, so I'm not going to touch it. Hope this is not a good tail. It's the ship's tail. Yeah. Is it? Hey, can't use that, Chris. 
Uh, can you cut this again, Lisa? Lisa seems to be the cutting bear. Okay, so we are high and dry. Right in there. You'll probably die now. Oh, you want to record him getting it going? He's bleeding from the gills, so he's going to die, but he's too small. Did you want me to try and flush the toilet again? Wait. Yes. No, no, not your one. We want to conserve the energy. I just want to know if it worked. Because we can't use the other one anymore, it's blocked. Yeah, when they bleed from the gills. Oh, that's why I like fishing. Broom, broom are really bad for it, they just gulp. So the boat is basically sitting on land at the moment. So we got some more entertainment. There's some dolphins over here. They're just around there somewhere. <laughs> ah, so there's dolphins in this river. Now that I'm recording, they won't pop up. Where are these dolphins? Here they are. Is that really? Where is it? Well, they were over there, now they're there. They're kind of heading in that direction. So the next time they pop up, they'll probably be over there somewhere. Oh, I'm sure we'll see more. They're over there. Two of them. They're going that way? Yeah. Back I think when they pop up, they'll be down there by now. They're going past us. Well, they should be just going in front of us. Yeah, but they're going that way. Yeah, they're going that way. So they're probably bolted now. Keep going as soon as you turn off, I'll come up. No, they're, probably, they're swimming down the channel. That's it, Nick. It'll, it'll run after your toes. Yeah, it'll probably come and bite me on the toes. It will. Then I'll be stuck in the mud. I don't know how else to get him out. Could just open it up and he might be able to untangle himself. He's got that pin up. There we go. There's, we've, we've got the top. If we can open it up like that, he might be able to sort of crawl, come, come out. There you go. Off you go, buddy. Hey, watch it. What's that? I thought he was going to jump over his toes. <laughs> yeah, I can move when I want to. You watch his arms going to drop. Look, Mark. He's holding on to his hand with his arm and he's still asleep. So his arm doesn't drop. I've never seen a bodgy sleep like it. Oh well, at least he'd be able to see in the water while he's dreaming. See all the crab holes. <laughs> nice sunburn.
full bugger. I should put this on YouTube, you'll be devastated. Coast Guard. That's what we need to pull us off with, that's it. Yeah. Like Maybe that. we can call the Coast Guard. Yeah, yeah, they're not. Well, he's just going up there for a drive. He's not doing nothing in particular. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, the dolphin's back over there. Look, he's just under the water. They'll probably hang around this little cove. There he is. How can see actually. Yeah, there's these things. Yeah. It's coming this way. I'll go over on the side. The dolphin's back. So we're stranded. Chris has actually caught a fish. Third fish. I think it's a spinner fish. Uh, he just wants to be let go. Uh, yeah. We're letting him go. I only got him in the, in the lip this time. They swallowed him last time. There is pliers. It's having a hard day. I can't get it in there. Kiss him on the lips like um, Rex Hunt and throw him back in. I'll just quickly go show Queenie. Did you kiss him and release it? Oh, kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss him. Like, uh, what's the name? Football play. Oh, belly flop. Here you go. The crab's gone. I had to run away from that. Chris was trying to throw crabs at me. I bolted. Did you let the crab go? He's swimming with you, that's why. Chris has got a snag. I caught a snag. There's no fish in there. No fish on here. Just let it go for a minute. It might take off. That's a snag. I think it just took there your it look. Is. Oh, there it is. What's yeah, going on? That's a dead one. You call it a dead fish. It's not even moving. That's the same size. It's probably the same fish. The same fish. Has he got a. Um, no, this one's a. This is a lot of heavy. Yeah, hey, it's a piranha. Look at his teeth. They've all got teeth. Huh. Oh, How'd your neck grab an old leg? I'm not swimming in there. Oh. I reckon that's got a big fat stomach, this fish. Yeah, it's been eating people. Have a look at its teeth. Oh, I can't bother getting fishy hands. There, did you see? What? There's a fish finder. Fish finder in front of the boat. Tell I don't me. think there's many fish under this boat. <laughs> Could you do me a favour and grab me the pliers on the table? I don't know how I'm going to get this hook out either. Okay. Okay. So. I don't know what the time is, but I think it's after 10. Tide is officially coming back in. It's 10 past 10. It's 10 past 10. Alright. So here we are, we're waiting to, for the water to rise, and then we're going to try and reverse out. We're going to have this engine facing this way, in reverse, trying to pull the boat out there. And we're going to have another boat 
pulling us out and we've also got all the taps on the boat off I mean sorry on so we can dump the water I think there's about two ton of water on the boat we've already dumped the spa so anyway it's a mission It's a three horsepower engine. Yeah, I forgot you can't have the. The water's coming in, by the way. This is not adventurous. Because Luke's going to wind up stuck on a, in a bankman over yeah, there, so all by himself. Oh, yeah, it'd be nice. Give me that too. In reverse. Put in reverse. Put in reverse now. Put in reverse. Turn around the other way. Spin her around. You're going to have to tilt it up, I think. Yeah, you do it before, though. Yep. Yeah. Someone needs to write a theme song for this trip. <laughs> the dodgy... Only one click. <laughs> the dodgy birthday cat, uh, trip. No, just lift the motor on its own, that's it. That's it, that's it. Now, put it we, in We were stuck on the dock for two days. We drove the... <laughs> we drove the boat for 20 minutes, got grounded. Now Luke's, I don't know what he's doing, but it's not good. No, you didn't turn, turn the whole motor around. That's it. That's, that's reverse. That's it. That's reverse. That's it. Keep it going. Yeah, he's around ahead and shaped your line. <laughs> hey Luke! Slow down! <laughs> Come on Luke, stop marking around! Is that the water taxi? No, it's not. It's a fishing boat. Hey Luke, make us some weight! Put the choke back in!
You have, you have to lift, lift it all the way up. It's not even in the water. It's just got to go down. He's got to lift the motor. Put the lever down and it will drop down. Yeah, pirates are right. Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. Hello. Shiver me plastic. <laughs> yeah, it's called the blue sky. Oh, that's um, that's not one of theirs. No, hey, that, yeah, that's Kuma houseboats. That's um, pure paradise. That wasn't in there. They're looking at us saying, "Pro." Yeah, that'll be that. So they know they've stayed right over there on the side. See, that's um, through Coomera houseboats as well. Yeah. Look at that beautiful holiday you're yeah, going to he's plan. the same line we did though. Yeah, pretty much. We were on that line. There's no one Yeah, we, we were pretty much over there. There was someone down the front. That boat looks very, very similar to this one. It's probably the same design, I reckon. Walk around no, it's much smaller. I had a look yesterday. I didn't see that one in there yesterday. Yeah, it was there. Well, that's what we could be doing if we weren't grounded all night. We're looking at them in envy, and they're, they're pointing out at us laughing. That's all right. You don't laugh. Except for his Chris trips over, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Luke's on a mission out there. Captain Luke Sparrow. He's still, he's still in the mud, I can see all the mud. He's he's so he's basically just dragging the bed through mud. It's still not very deep there, that's why. He's got to go out in the channel. He's going the wrong way, he needs to go over there. He's going to go home absolutely cooked. He's already sunburned. He needs to put a shirt on. I know, he needs something on his neck. You can't tell him. He needs some... He's already burnt. He's already burnt, it's too late. Now he's just going to get more burnt. Sunscreen helps to a point. He's right out there now. I haven't got my hat. I've got a cap. I couldn't fit my hat in the suitcase, like my wide brim hat. I suppose I could have bought one when I was down the shop, but I didn't think of it that. There's some eagles up there, or hawks or something.
coming back. Okay, so the water is slowly but surely coming back in. You know what? What? We thought we felt the boat move away. Well, it's still on a mono, so I couldn't have moved too much. Yep. But a it actually looks like, if you look at the front, it looks like it's turned a bit this way. Well, I know that yesterday, it was right to that black line there. Yeah, we're nowhere near being where we were, but... This one part. Yep, the water's definitely going back up now. Here you go, Chris. Want to put a worm on it? Where are you going, Tiffany's? No. Let's go. Slowly but surely, the land is disappearing once again. Nothing up here. Ah, it's windy. Marooned. We couldn't have found a better spot to get marooned in. Although we didn't choose the spot, the spot chose us. So here we are, that's the view now, all the water's back over the land, mm. we're heading towards high tide again and the, the guys are going to come back, we've dumped how, how much, 4,000 litres of water, is it 4,000 litres? Something like that. And the spa which I think is probably another 1,000 litres or so. Yeah. And, no, so the, and plus all of us on the boat are probably weigh another 1,000 kilos, maybe 800 kilos. So there's at least 5 tonnes that have been taken off the boat. So hopefully, uh, we can get it floating again. But really, the, the houseboat's just a, it's a house on a big pontoon, on a big slab of concrete. So we're not gonna damage the bottom, but still. This is a beautiful spot. We've dumped all the water, so we're getting off this boat one way or the other, even if we have to transfer to another boat. We're hoping we don't have to. We're hoping they'll get us off. What's your opinion, Lisa? My opinion is I'm going to have a drink. A drink? Yeah. Why? Yeah, I second that motion. Because it's still a holiday. Oh, okay. It's still a holiday, even though we're marooned in the 
Swamp. What do you reckon, Luke? Yeah, I reckon Kerr. I reckon Kerr. I reckon Kerr. It's a bad situation into a big one by drinking a gym bean. But it's not a bad situation. We're all together. We've got food in our bellies. And drinks. Makes it better. Got a beautiful view. And we'll be getting rescued in about two more hours. It's now in ten minutes. Something like that. So there we are. The adventure will continue. So now we need mum's opinion. For what? <laughs> About whatever's on your mind. Oh, for what's on my mind? I think my opinion would be to have a little drink. That's what Lisa said. What's wrong with my family? Yeah. You know what she said? You will have a little drink. I asked Lisa, I said, what's your opinion? Oh, my opinion is we need to have a drink. She said turn a bad situation into a good one by having That's a drink. Right. It's still a party boat. Yeah, but I'm it's, on holidays. But it's not That's a bad nice. it's not a bad situation <laughs> though. <laughs> we still have food in our bellies, we're all together, it's a nice yeah. view. And and I work hard. It's a nice view and I work hard, okay? Yeah. So I think I should let me hair down even though it's up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and have a drink. Alright. Because then. it's a party. Okay. Party animal. What's your opinion, Dad? I'm going to let my hair down and have a little drink too. What hair? Well, if we can find any, that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just being a smart ass. <laughs> now, my opinion is... What's your opinion? The, the holiday will continue. As soon as we've been rescued, we've still got several more days to enjoy ourselves. So, it'll pick up again. We'll be right. Over there. I'm going to go down and get mine. So, Chris has shown up with another fish. Number five. What's his name? Hang on, I've got to go outside because it's... Wow. um. Too sunny behind you. Have you named him? No. I reckon we should call him Larry. Oh, you have a kiss? Hello. <laughs> Show me inside his mouth. Oh, you're cute. All Hang right. on. Made him out of wall. Alright. Show him on the side there. Here we are. Right. Number five. Kiss. <laughs> Throw him down here. So, the guys are going to be here in about 20 minutes. We're almost on high tide again. So there was a big drop down here. This boat's floating again, our dinghy. Can't see those reeds anymore. And we can feel the boat rocking when other boats go past. So let's see how this goes. And, uh, and we need a really Queen Victoria Market. I'm just recording Dad because he's got the coolest hat and it suits him. Where to get that hat? We've been calling him Hannibal for two days. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any fava beans? And a nice no, candy? I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. No way. Hey, your lamp shade's going. Queen Reese. Lamp shade? I can eat you. Didn't that make lamp shade out of skin? I believe they did, yeah. No, I'm an animal lamp 